Go and preach the good news of the kingdom of heaven. Go and preach the good news of the kingdom of heaven. Greeting, guys. It is me with the message of the kingdom of heaven. Uh, guys, as you know by now that the message of the kingdom of heaven is the only message we have been given by our Lord, our teacher, and our master. You understand? So we can't call him Lord, Lord, and don't do as he says. No, guys, we really cannot do that. You understand? So we should, you understand? We must, guys, it is should, it is must. We need to preach this message of the kingdom of heaven. Nothing else, guys. If we uh, open TV, we should be hearing the message of the kingdom of heaven. If we open radios, listening to pastors, we should be hearing the message of the kingdom of heaven because this is the only message that Jesus gave us. You understand? Nothing else, guys, he didn't give us the message of money, the message of the things of the world, the message of riches. He didn't give us the message of prosperity. That's not the message Jesus gave us. You understand? We have to respect him. We have to obey him. He is our Lord. He's our master. You know? Nevertheless, guys, here, I am actually wanting to dig deeper into why Jesus preached this message only and why it had to reach the end of the earth. You understand? Why didn't it just stay in Israel? You know, why he, the end of the earth? You understand? Yes, guys, I have said that uh, he was created by God. I mean, Adam, guys, he was created by God through Jesus. You understand? Right in the very beginning. You know, the word doesn't put Christ in the Old Testament, mm -mm. but when he comes in the New Testament, he tells us that he was the word of God, the word that was in the beginning. You understand? So this is now taking Christ in the very beginning before the creation of things. So in the Old Testament, we hear nothing about Christ, even though we hear he, that he will come, but nothing much is said about him. You understand? The Old Testament was a pre-written uh, diary of Jesus. You understand? That is why w when you open the New Testament, you you hear words like, uh, "This Jesus did this to fulfill that. He did this to fulfill that. You understand? In other words, Jesus is now fulfilling the promises, I mean, the prophecies uh, about him that were written by the prophet in the Old Testament. That is why he said, I did not come to abolish the law, but to fulfill them. So he fulfilled them and, and, and got away with that covenant. And on the cross, he said it was finished, meaning the covenant was done away with. And he became the high priest of the new covenant. Guys, all those teachings you can find uh, from Anko. Anko.fm slash nini dash mate. Or you find them at Spotify. I have uh, teachings there. You also find them at Google Podcast or Apple Podcast. You understand? Akast. This one is hosted by Akast. And it's only for the message of the kingdom of heaven, guys, because we have to emphasize this message. It's very important. We have to separate this message. Even though those teachings we are in line or about the kingdom of heaven, they explain things, you understand? And we also need to understand why Jesus gave us these laws because his commands, guys, are difficult. The truth must be told. The Bible has difficult commands. People, that's why people don't like the Bible. That's why those who even go to church don't even have time to uh, obey it. It's difficult, you understand? So those teachings that uh, are there, uh, you, you will find, they give us explanation of why Jesus gave us these commands. You understand? They tell us uh, uh, Satan right there in the beginning, right there in the Garden of Eden, he took over, you understand, and became the God of this age. Money came after the administration of Satan. I mean, Adam was only given uh, trees, given things. He, the guy was supposed to pluck and eat. That's it. Pluck and eat. He had clothes on. You understand? In fact, he was using different eyes. Not the physical ones. You understand? So those teachings are there for, I mean, are there for people to understand why God gave us such commands. Because his commands are difficult. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. I mean, the guy is rhyming. You know, don't do this. Don't do that. Don't do this. Don't do that. You know, you feel uh, harassed. It's like an harassment. You know, so I made sure that the teachings, they explain why God gave us all those um, commands. You understand? So they are in line or they are of the kingdom of heaven, but they give us the understanding of why, you know, he told us not to do the things that he has told us not to do. You understand? So guys, we understand why um, 
uh, Jesus had to come down here on earth, guys, and preach this message of the kingdom of heaven. Guys, we've been saying this, you know, over and over. You know, I don't want to teach in this uh, podcast, in this podcast, you understand. But the teacher in me just comes up, quickly just comes up, you understand. But I don't intend to. Nevertheless, we have been saying that it's because Adam right there, because he was created by God, through Jesus, guys, we've been saying that Jesus was in the beginning, even though in the Old Testament, nothing much was, you know, uh, his his involvement was not uh, mentioned a lot. But the moment he comes in the New Testament, he tells us that he is the word of God. That was in the beginning. You understand? So that quickly tells me that Jesus was involved just before, I mean, before the creation of everything. And then he also tells us in Colossians 1.18, he says, everything was created through, by, and for Jesus. You understand? So we understand that the world was not created by God, as people think. The world was created by Jesus. Everything, even Adam, was created through, not by God. But we can say God through Jesus. But it was Jesus because it was Jesus who was doing everything because everything was created for, by, and through Jesus. So he is the guy who was living in heaven with the Father while Adam was here on earth. So when Adam disobeyed, when he failed and disobeyed God and died spiritually, he became of the world and was of the kingdom of darkness. So he lost the kingdom of heaven. So guys, we've been saying this, so I wanted to keep mentioning it, and I'm going to keep mentioning it so that you will also understand. I mean, guys, the message of the oh, of the beast, the message of money, of riches, and earthly blessings have, have been repeated over and over and over again until we believed it. You understand? So now I have to keep repeating, 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 repeating this so that we will also believe it. You understand? Guys, we know the power of repetition. It's very, very powerful. Nevertheless, so Jesus is now coming down here and say, Adam, you lost that kingdom there in the Garden of Eden because Adam was under the administration of God, was under the government of God, was under the setup, the rulership of God in the Garden. That's why he was to black and eat. But when he died, when he disobeyed God and died spiritually, he was of the kingdom of darkness. So he was banished from the Garden of Eden. You understand? So he lost the kingdom of heaven. So Jesus, who was staying with the Father, has to now come down and tell us, listen, you lost the kingdom, not money, not riches, not earthly things. Satan took them and you still had them here. So guys, we, we were not born. We, I was still in Adam's Lord. I didn't know that truth. So Jesus coming down here and telling me all of that, that makes me happy. It's a good news. That's why he says, preach the good news of the kingdom of heaven. So that when I live here, at least I know what I'm expecting. You understand? I know what Adam lost. I know what my forefather Adam, my patriarch, lost. You understand? So I want that. It's good news. So we've been saying all of that and we've been repeating it and I'm still going to repeat it over and over. That's why you will keep here these messages of the kingdom of heaven because I want them to be repeated over and over, just like the message of the beast has been repeated over and over. You understand? There's power in that. Nevertheless, this podcast, this short one, is actually about understanding why Jesus had to preach this message to the ends of the world. Guys, it's simple. We will be judged by the laws of the kingdom of heaven. Because Adam was under that administration and he was supposed to lead the world according to God and Jesus uh, leads in heaven. You understand? So when he lost it, and we're still going to be judged by the laws of that kingdom, the laws of the kingdom of heaven. You understand? So it is important for us to know this kingdom of heaven. It's important for you to know this kingdom of heaven. It's important for everyone to know. Even if, guys, we don't believe it, we're still going to be judged by it. Because it's not about me. It's not about my beliefs. It's not about your beliefs. It's not about pastor's beliefs. But it's about what God says. It's about what daddy says. You understand? It's about what Jesus says. You know, so we're going to be judged by their laws, the laws of the kingdom of heaven. That is why he made sure that the kingdom of heaven is here, is preached down here, because we're going to be judged by its laws. If he says, do not do this, we see guys here on earth, we've got laws, we've got constitution. If you um, disobey the laws, you, you will get a fine or you will be jailed. But these are the laws of the earth. They are not the same as the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven has its own laws. The laws that are written in the Bible, the Bible is the book of the kingdom of heaven and it has its own laws. 
You understand? So I've realized that people think that just because they obey the laws of the kingdom of darkness, because they don't drink, because they have not killed anyone, they don't obey God. You understand? But they're obeying the laws of the kingdom of darkness and they think that they're going to make it in the kingdom of heaven. No, guys. As I've been saying also in one of these uh, podcasts, that here on earth, guys, there's no requirement to enter. Two people simple decide to have sex and then we are born. There is no audition. We are not even interviewed. There are no interviews conducted. You understand? We simply find ourselves here. So there is no requirement to enter here. But to enter the kingdom of heaven, guys, he has given us the laws. That's why he, this message of the kingdom of heaven is important. So that you will know. Do I want you to obey it? Uh -uh. Do I want you to believe it? No. Do I want you to take it? It's not going to help me. But I want you to know because you are going to be judged by the laws of the kingdom of heaven. You understand? That's why it is important that this message of the kingdom of heaven reaches the whole earth. The Holy Spirit, guys, is in us so that we can discipline ourselves so that we can be faithful to God. But now if pastors are preaching the message of money, of riches, of earthly blessings, of prosperity, we can't discipline ourselves because that message is in line with the flesh, which is dead. When Adam died spiritually, the flesh died as well. And I was born like that. Yes, the blood has come and I'm, I'm now made spiritually alive, but the, the flesh is still dead. So the message of money, the message of riches, the message of the things of the world is in line with that. That is why everyone loves it. That is why even pastors preach it, because they know that people love the message of money and the things of the world and blessings. Because it is in line with our flesh. Our flesh is, is dead. Even if we do get saved, our flesh is dead. So if we don't control ourselves, we can't control ourselves when we listen to this message because we run after these things and we, we, we are overcome by the world. And it means that we don't believe in Jesus. John says that only he who believes in Jesus will not be overcome, will overcome the world. But people in churches are overcome by the, uh, the world because they did not believe the message of Jesus. Do you understand? So we have to control ourselves, ourselves. Because we will be judged by the laws that are written in the book of the kingdom of heaven, which is the Bible. That is why it is important that everyone hears this message of the kingdom of heaven. Guys, I'm going to keep giving you bit by bit, bit by bit. You understand? I want everyone to know this so that they can decide. You need to make an informed decision. You understand? Because, you know, you go to funerals, pastors are saying people are going to heaven. I mean, like, really? You know, they are lying to each other. They're in churches that they will make it to heaven. They can't because the message that uh, the pastors are preaching is not in line with the word of the kingdom of heaven. How are we going to go to heaven if what we are hearing from the churches is not in line with the word of God? You understand, guys? I'm sorry, I didn't want to be long, but I wanted to say this. I don't know. I didn't want to teach. Nevertheless, I'm not teaching, but this is important. It is important that we know the message of the kingdom of heaven because, guys, we're going to be judged by the laws of the kingdom of heaven. It's simple as that. So if you don't obey, for, for instance, guys, you know, here on earth, if you're wearing short stuff and showing all everything, you are classy. You understand? But if you belong to the kingdom of heaven, you need to wear decency. That is the law of the kingdom of heaven. It's not the same as the law of here on earth. You know? For instance, here on earth, if you love money, you are classy. If you love the things of the world, you are successful. If you are rich, you are successful. But in the kingdom of heaven, we are not allowed to do that. It's seen according to the kingdom of heaven. And we're not going to make it to the kingdom of heaven because we are not disciplining ourselves. I don't know, guys, if you understand. I'm trying to make this as, as understandable as possible. So we are going to be judged by the laws of the kingdom of heaven. So it's important that everyone hears about this message of the kingdom of heaven. Until then, guys.